So, Vanta say, Gogo's Koteni actually slept with Mpumelele Mseleku. You know, I am so disappointed in Gogo's Koteni after this. I am so disappointed in Gogo's Koteni, I won't lie. But anyways, let's just get into it. Vanta say, do welcome back to the chat with a dolphin. If you are new to this channel, please click the subscription button. So without even wasting any time, let's just get into it. Yes, it is true, apparently and allegedly. Gogos Koteni slept and she was dating Umbumelelum Seleko. This was said by Queen Loli who was invited to a podcast and when she got them, Dasa, she spilled the beans. As we already know, Queen Loli used to date Umbumelelum Seleko. It's not a secret. I think it's a public knowledge because this was exposed on a national TV. So, guys, now... But anyways, before I get into Indaba, actually, let me just play this video so that at least you can get the concept of what we are talking about. Uh, for those who don't know, Gee Koko Skoteni. But they gotta escape his ways, man. What happened? Koko Skoteni is f***ing Pumelelo Mseleku. And they have done that in front of Ukoko Umawen, Uyaz, Bejola, Indo, Daga Koko Skoteni, Ikon. My event, Dangazu Bungo Mawatwaz. Her husband was at the festival, but she was busy in Nalo, Nalo Mtanalo, Mselegu Julia. Waka, a Saturn, the admin, and Opig Zulban to Bank Oz. Ngalama HIV test lab. Uh, please note her about it too. She was not forced for tester, eh? Nifunu, no man in Tugala for social media. And tell them how you feel. So, Gulo Bukhunga Banko Selebona, Mzanti Magic, them Selegus, Amangle Bagapoli, Limele, Sopola. And then there you have it, Bumta, say from Goko Maweni and Queen Loli to. Gogos Kotini and also Umpumelelo Mseleko. Even now, I still cannot believe that oh, Gogos Kotini actually slept with, you know, Umpumelelo. Uh, according to me, it's just a disappointment and disrespect uh, to Umonde, her husband. Because if you can check the, if you can differentiate even the years, guys, you can see that Umonde is much older than Umpumelelo. But yet again, she still went ahead by sleeping with uh, someone younger than or her husband and to me it's just disrespect guys but anyways um i don't know i really don't know but one thing that i can tell you is that i doubt that ukoko skoteni was lying on this voice note mainly because if we recall very well Koko maweni and Koko skoteni used to be friends best buddies we got to see them taking pictures they were literally obsessed with each other if i if i tell you when i until they their relationship ended when their relationship came to an end they, we saw them fighting live on instagram pages exposing each other's that a secret Koko Maweni was throwing the punches even Koko Skoteni was throwing the punches you will tell that indeed they knew more about each other right so and also I honestly feel like this voice note was made when they were arguing when they were fighting when the heat was still heating was still hot you understand and we got to find it we've got to find about it just now so according to me i don't think she's lying mainly because of everything that i just told you and another thing that you have to keep in mind do not forget that umbumelelo was once interviewed on the venting podcast that is uh that is owned by ugogos koteni i think maybe that's when the affair started or maybe the relationship started but yeah when i say apparently ugogos koteni slept with the umbumelelo and betrayed Queen loli if you listened if you watched the, this podcast and please go and check it out you will see that Queen Lole was actually disappointed and hurt by our moral, our our favorite Gogo Scotini. You understand? Honestly, guys, I don't know. I don't know what I can say about Gogo Scotini at this point. I do not know, and I don't want to come here and lie to you and say, "Oh, I'm not disappointed." Obviously, I am disappointed in Gogo Scotini. Uh, maybe because uh, not because she slept with um, with someone young. 
But maybe because she disrespected her, her husband and she keeps on disrespecting her husband. And at the end of the day, we're going to blame this man and uh, expose them for being abused, uh, you know, uh, towards us and whatsoever. And according to me, I just feel like it was law of Gogos Kotini to do what she did to Omonde. And one thing that I loved about Omonde, ever since their breakup, even when uh, he laid his hand on Gogos Kotini, he never spoke about this. He never said anything about Gogos Kotini because he understands that Gogos Kotini is a brand and he's trying by all means to protect that brand. But at the end of the day, guys, disrespect, disrespect, the machila, ki machila. And I don't deal with nonsense. This is just nonsensically. You understand? So, and especially, how can you sleep? You could have chosen maybe Rick Ross. You could have chosen maybe John Cena. Someone huge, someone big, someone with muscles. Not young Pumelelo. How are guys? Let's be honest. How are guys? Imagine Pumelelo. Imagine Kokos Kutin. Kawa du marang Pumelelo. And easy. Anyways, yeah, man, apparently, uh, yeah, Ukoko uh, slept with Umbumelelo and it's just a lot. But yeah, man, we're still waiting to hear from Ukoko Skotini's side because I have a feeling that this is going to end bad for Ukoko Mawini because we are about to hear her, deeper, her deepest secrets. But anyways, have a lovely day, and tell me what you think about this because it's just a lot. Now I'm so disappointed in Gogo. Especially because of what she stands for. She claims to be a prophetess. She claims to be a sangoma. But at the end of the day, they say you lost the integrity. They say you have lost it. And uh, come on, uh, you, it's bad. It's really, really bad, they say.